Thank you. I apologize for complaining about the freaking controls in this game, but it's just sometimes they just are really inconvenient for times that matter. Uh, thank you, camera. I, I appreciate you taking what a jump. Uh, what the fuck flung me down? Oh man. You're gonna hang back there all day. Thank you. Thank you for not jumping. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me a freaking gimmicky ass attack pattern now. Go, run. Stop fucking. Is this the boss fight now? Just him biting shit and electricity happening? Okay, his thing gets stuck. I couldn't see because the camera wasn't fucking... I can't even move the camera. And... Okay, whatever. I can't even freaking control... Strider! My god, this fucking sucks! I can't even see where he's attacking, what he's attacking, where he's getting stuck because the camera won't move. By the time I find out what the hell he's doing, he gets off. This is horrible. It's, it's fucking controls, man. It's bad. I don't even know how... Oh, that thing. Stupid panel. Come on, Strider. Fucking move, man. This sequence is terrible. Because these controls are not cooperati co cooperating at all. I press jump and he runs. My goodness. Okay, whatever. Uh, this fight is fucking awful. <sighs> gimmicky ass attack pat. I, I know I'm mad, but this is a freaking gimmicky ass attack pattern with the camera and controls that are both not cooperating with you. It's really obnoxious. Yeah, I don't give a shit. You're ugly. Alright, I didn't even press it more than once. He fucking gets stunned by every fucking thing in this game. Oh, okay, I pressed triangle, and he did the other attack instead of the fucking drones. It took me an hour to get over there to freaking hit him like three times. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. This is really, really obnoxious. I mean, it would probably be cool if the camera didn't suck and the controls didn't suck. But as it is, it's not fucking functional. That fucking up slash is so stupid! Why is that up? It's fucking bound the triangle. These fucking controls. I can't even see where I am. This is so fucking 
Oh my god. Stupid fucking jump pad. Oh my god, I can't fucking... What? Hit me? It being there hit me now? Meanwhile, all the other times I was just jumping through it, getting hit by the stupid jump pad. Oh. This is a terrible fucking boss fight. Oh my goodness. Stupid robots don't even protect you from the stupid projectiles. And it's like they expect you to dodge all the attacks and fucking be able to control yourself. Why do you keep doing that stupid up slash, man? I'm not fucking pressing that. Jesus fucking Christ, fuck this shit. This is a fucking miserable boss fight. My goodness, it's not even hard. The controls just suck. The controls just playing flat out suck. Yeah, don't give a shit. Let's do this. How can we start this broken? Look at that, and I start fucking crooked on the fucking inside the fucking floor. This is a broken sequence. Oh, I forgot I don't have a normal up attack. I have this stupid retarded shit. We stand over here on an angle where it makes sense. I'm not even gonna bother trying to kick its ass. I'm just gonna stand here and reflect shots. Why? I'm not holding up! Really? Slash. Was that the like pay homage to Marvel or some shit? Th th this serves no fucking goddamn purpose. So fucking so oh my god, these controls are so fucking awful. Projectile just happens to come my way. Can't fucking see where shit is. This fucking controls, man. I think this might be the most ragiest freaking play, like part of the any playthrough I've ever done. This is fucking bad as all hell. Okay. Thank you, camera. Couldn't see where the fuck I was going. Oh my fucking goodness. This is the worst part of the game. Flat out. I, I can't I can't fucking stand this shit. The controls are fucking annoying. 
can't fucking run because I'm being shoved around by these fucking projectiles. I can't see where they're coming from. By the time I get my bearing, something else shoves me out of the way, so I, my controls are like, scrambled again. And thanks to this marvelous freaking Strider has to flinch at every fucking thing that touches him, engine. Awesome, couldn't see the origin of that. Oh my fucking goodness. I think I might have to return to this another time. This is fucking stupid. Come on! What the fucking hell? Projectiles, I can't even see that are off the fucking screen, too. Oh my god. Seriously. Camera! Fucking camera! Oh my goodness! And this shit just pops off the fucking screen. Couldn't even see it coming. And it kills me. Oh my goodness. It was about to fucking die, too. Could have been done with this shit, but nope. I don't give a shit. You know, you eat a fucking bag of dicks for all I fucking care, you piece of shit. What the fuck pulled me down? Come on. Stupid bots don't even protect you, protect you from like basic fucking projectiles. Before this shit starts throwing annoying ass projectiles at me. At least I'm getting the hang of these shitty. this crappy arena. Come on, man! Plasma catapult when I fucking push the button! It's almost dead. I should be able to finish this with no problem. Just gotta keep... Okay, thank you, camera. Fucking throw me off a damn ledge. 10 out of 10. Oh, well, fuck yourself, you freaking piece of shit. Eat all the fucking dicks and all my rage. Damn, that was freaking aggravating. Thank God it's done. Gradually learned how to deal with that really awkward platforming.
Not much of a conclusion, though. <laughs> Just standing on this crap. Strider planning to die along with it when it burns into the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, I have to say, that, that boss was freaking... That gave me a run for my money. It made me so freaking aggravated. <laughs> Between the gravity, that up, upper slash, and the camera just... Uh, the camera was the mo probably the most annoying part, along with the controls. But then again, they couldn't really focus on the boss all too much because they needed to show you where you were going considering the way the controls and the gravity was like really fucking with you. So like, you know, unless you're very skilled at the game, there's probably not really a way you could do that in your first shot. It's probably going to take you at least one or two tries to get through. Just getting used to the gravity, the controls and things like that. I have to admit, it was a really awkward thing to be thrown into, but other than that, shit. I managed to kick its ass in the end. <laughs> Took a few tries, but shit. Please pardon my language and all that. That was a lot of angry. What's after these credits, I wonder? A real ending, maybe? I wouldn't mind doing a new game plus. Off screen, because our playthrough's done. <laughs> Go and connect, collect all the uh, other items I'm missing, try to max out trophies or whatever. This is a game I actually want to get all the trophies on. It was a lot of fun. So, overall, the things that pissed me off the most the acid. Strider flinching and rolling around every time he got hit. I know that was an original thing in the original Strider. Every time he got hit, it went burn and then go rolling away. But at least there was like an invincibility time in between getting hit and taking the damage. I think it was a little ridiculous that you instantly got comboed by everything. That was a bit much. Some of the platforming was a little bit wonky. But other than that, it was really like true to the game, like Strider 1 and 2. Um, but when I say 2, I mean the one on PlayStation, that one. The visuals were great. That final boss sequence was also the other thing that made me unbearably mad. But I got the hang of it as it went on. So I'm just happy I beat it. <laughs> but yeah. And the pluses, shit. Great soundtrack. Really awesome soundtrack. High replay value. You know, you're going, going to go around and go collect all the items and stuff like that in a Metroidvania style uh, layout, which is very unique. And it really fits a Strider game. Um, you know, the graphics were great. The st everything was very stylized. I liked the combination between uh, 3D models and 2D sprites for uh, particles and uh, smoke and things like that. It felt really uh, PlayStation Strider to that extent. How it had like the 2D sprites and the 3D, em 3D environments. There was a good variety of powers. The different ciphers was really unique. Even though, like, you got the magnetic one and, like, barely got to use it all that much. It was uh, that one area that kind of pressed you with a lot of the enemies that had the shield that can only be broken by the magnetic cipher. But at least they gave you a good run on that. But damn, that, that final boss was so aggravating. I can't even fathom that shit. Doing that again on hard? That's going to take me a few tries. But at least I got the hang of that freaking annoying control layout and camera. I just got to figure, because of the controls and the gravity balls, accidentally doing that annoying freaking rising slash attack is just really annoying. I don't know why they decided to bind it to square. Like, keeping square to the running slashes and, and you know, regular normal slashes is fine, but, you know, what's the point of having uh, the upward slash bound the triangle if, you know looking up or holding up and pressing square does the same exact thing which could really screw you up they should have kept those two attacks separate like uh hold up and triangle to do the upward slash and side and triangle to do like a heavier uh 
straight slash of some kind. Because that really like can screw you up if, after a while if you don't get used to it right away. Since I don't use that attack a lot, it's like it really got on my nerves. Let's get that, see if there's anything after that. I don't really want to keep watching the credits for like no reason. See if there's any kind of unlockables or something. Class A Ninja, probably for beating it on normal or something. Hideo's mission is complete. Would you like to save your game? All statistics will be saved, but you will be unable to resume your progress and will need to begin a new game. I beat it in four hours and didn't get everything, but now I could go back and get everything. Not right now, obviously. And I'll be doing it on hard. Probably look up some type of a guide to like uh, figure out where everything is at. And um, that was Strider. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough as much as I did. And I hope my rage gives you a lot of happy little fun laughs. Share it with your friends. <laughs> anyway, this is Maverick Bison saying goodnight. And thank you for joining me on the Strider game gameplay playthrough. It's done. <laughs> Mission complete.